I hope, I hope it looks good. By the way, the kind folks here have been like asking me, like, what are you doing with the tank, dude? Like, what's up? Like, why are you, what's wrong with the tank? Everybody's worried. Check out the no maintenance tank. Blacked out for three days. Let's do this. All right. 72 hours plus. No, uh, no lights on this bad boy. Let's roll in here. You've all been here. Don't act like any of you have not had allergy before. Maybe not this severe, but then again, I haven't touched this tank probably in 2018, so it is what it is. Okay, so again, we're scraping and we're manually removing all this. Somebody asked me yesterday, why don't you add a, uh, like a, a Pleco or a Simensis algae eater, and all those are fine, but look, you're not gonna have a fish. I don't care if it's a foot long Pleco, they're not gonna clean this whole thing off. So you gotta manually remove all of this algae and get it out as best you can and then figure out what's causing it. We want as much of it covered up as possible. And in my experience, it doesn't have to be perfectly no light, but the closer you can get to it, the better. So I mean, there might be a couple cracks, but I'm gonna throw a blanket over top of it as well, so. Because the algae, while it's simple to grow, and it grows fast. It also can die fast. And the plants, I know everybody's worried about their plants. Your plants will be fine. I've imported plants from Asia and Africa and they've been in boxes for five days. So these plants in a healthy system in water that have just gotten a water change will be completely fine for three days. And folks, do me a favor before I unveil this sucker, make sure you hit that notifications button and that subscribe button if you are enjoying this. That way YouTube will send you out all of my videos. Helps me, helps you. Let's do it. Hit the button. Gotta be quiet because I'm actually in a place where they're doing work. What's up, fish tank people? Dustin's fish tanks. Bringing it to you in front of the no maintenance tank. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. I'm over here looking at the people on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, go do it. Dustin's fish tank on Instagram. Here's what's going on in today's video. We're going to unveil the 72 hours of darkness. Darkness spreading into the no maintenance tank. So the no maintenance tank has been uh, actually turned off for quite a while, so there has been no light on it. Before we unveil the no maintenance tank, I would like to uh, explain to you all and kind of unpack how we got to this point and why we went to this drastic of measure. So when we talk about algae, we need to understand that algae is on all seven continents and is a simple organism. It is a simple structure, okay? So it's a simple structure. What's the simple structure? You've seen your tanks get algae and have the algae explode or bloom or whatever. So it's a simple structure. It also doesn't require as much of a, for lack of a better term, balanced diet as all of the other like larger big plants do, okay? So it's a simple structure. It's on all seven continents. It doesn't require as much of a balanced diet. What happened in here? We got off balance. We had almost 90 days with zero attention from yours truly, okay? So it doesn't matter what element is missing or whatever. Stuff was missing from the water. I didn't do the water changes. The algae, which is more simple than the regular plants, was able to grow like crazy. The algae grows like crazy. The lights were on six hours a day. The light's really not the problem. However, around here, they do have lights that they probably never turn off. So in order to kill the algae, we're going to do a blackout. Now we did the blackout here today. The blackout was done because while algae is a simple uh, organism and it can grow very quickly and very easily, if we turn the lights off for three days, it can't handle it unlike our large plants. So what we did is we blacked it out for three days straight. Um, that will deprive almost any light going into the tank. And so now we are going to unveil this tank and hopefully all the algae will have just fallen to the bottom or is easy to get off and is dead. Then we're gonna take 
Mr. I run down the main highways of Lexington siphon and we're going to siphon out all the bad stuff and then we're going to do a big water change and then we're going to feed them and then we're going to enjoy them. So here we go. I'm kind of nervous. I hope it looks good. And by the way, the kind folks here have been like asking me like, what are you doing with the tank, dude? Like, what's up? Like, why are you, what's wrong with the tank? Everybody's worried. We use the Elsa blanket to cover up the top. Else is good. I also, by the way, busted my lip using the tape. You can see the clip where I was bleeding the last time I was in here. So, a lot of, a lot of blood and sweat literally has gone into this aquarium. Uh, but we're gonna undo. I'm gonna leave the back on because people said they like the look of the back. But I am gonna undo the front here. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna undo this right here. And then we're gonna. Oh no! This is messing up the front. So I gotta get all that off. That stinks because that just ruins the function way of the tank. But whatever. I guess I should peel it off more gently. And now we're going to kick the light on and see what it did to the algae. The light's been unplugged and off. This is gone. See the fish are completely fine. They don't care. And I'm going to leave the back on because I want to see what it looks like with it. And we'll kick this right here. This has been totally unplugged. Spin it around on. Here it is, folks. Your moment is in. Oh, what are we looking like? One, two. Oh. Okay. Not bad. So the fish are alive and are probably like, why on earth is the light on for the first time in three days? Imagine how you would feel if the light was off for three days and then it got turned back on. So now it's a question of how easy does this algae come off of these rocks and driftwood and all that? And now let's get a close up here because you can see it's discolored. So see it's a lighter color and it's kind of got that like white stringy look. So that's a good sign on here. It looks a little lighter, a little discolored. If I wasn't in the video making business, I would actually leave this covered for another day. But um, we're going to get in here and we're going to see how it wipes off. The fish are stoked. They're like, what's up, bro? Notice the plants completely fine. Three days of darkness. Three days of darkness, three days of darkness. They're a little lighter green because they haven't had any photosynthesis at all in 72 hours. But now it's time to get in here and see how easy this stuff comes off. All right, so we raise this. And then we chase the siphon. suck right here the algae wipes away oh look at that it comes off easy without any chemicals so it's coming off no problems soon so it's obviously been injured we don't know if it's completely done but we'll go over here and you can see it coming off of that you can see the discoloration. Andrew will edit in a clip of how it looked prior. You can see the difference in the color. I can just scrape it. And it's coming off. But the trick is we gotta get all of it, or a lot of it out of here. See how it's coming off easy? Look at that. And that's gonna slow the siphon down when it hits the other end. So you still gotta do the work, but it's coming off, no problem. But we wanna beat it now. We're sucking it all off of all that. This coloration is good. Yeah, this is coming off real nice. I'm super pumped. Like the crypt took a little bit of a hit, but it'll bounce back. You can see sucking up all this junk. Getting it off the spine here. Pulling it off of this log. It's actually a mix of java moss and algae, so we're gonna suck that on through there. And the Kabamba didn't like that. The Kabamba definitely did not have a good time with that blackout. But so be it. And it's a baby. Chilling. 
Imagine, first time you see light in three days. And what we're trying to do is a huge, huge, huge water change today just to get any of the particles out because we don't want to have an ammonia spike because then we'll just start the cycle over. So if, you have, if I were to leave this alone, all this dead algae would then cause another ammonia spike because it's dead waste. So we want to get as much of it out as possible, as quickly as possible, do a big water change. And then I'm leaving the duckweed in to reduce the light a little bit. Notice the duckweed did not care. And the uh, FX4 is pumping a little bit. Not afraid to show you a little algae, but I scrape it like that. Get it off the rocks. Get that off of there. You're gonna to want to remove any dead plant matter beyond just the algae too, like any plants that may have gotten hurt. And yeah, I didn't get to look at the tank for three days, but I mean, clearly it worked. So everything is stopped. FX4 is taking its pause while we're here. Coincidentally, it's pausing because it stops every 24 hours. So it stops, it lets all the bubbles out. Well, I'm always in here this time of day. So it's on its cycle. So like last time I was in here, I disconnected it and then it runs for like 15 minutes and then shuts off. So that's what it's doing right now because a couple of days ago I was in here and that's when I restarted it. So it's kind of funny that it's kicking off. You can see all this junk coming out, get all that. All that. All that, all that. And this is really actually a job for the black mamba siphon because this is not not uh, removing enough fast enough, but it, it's working, but I would like to just like drop it as fast as I could and refill, which is why I have the extra little bucket in there that I'm gonna do faster. And the FX4 kicks back on. I'm gonna let this run, then I'm gonna get another Big, uh, the big tube to remove even more water and clean it up. It's gonna be nasty. setup here is it's got the it's got the slip of the metal thing go to Home Depot or whatever and get one of these threads up into here and you just get a wrench and tighten it on there now I can test the temp of the water here temp of the water here get them close Run back air and hit some decor. ACCR. My friends at Fritz. I want to come back in and do a touch of water change, but for now this will get anything knocked off, get it into the filter. I may come back in and drain the FX4 for the first time in ever and uh, show how that goes. Make sure you hit the notifications button and the subscribe button. Uh, it helps me out, helps you get my videos. So a little button down in the corner. You'll get notified when we're doing this kind of stuff. and drop me a comment on what you think about how this has gone so far. I'm actually really uh, impressed with how easily it came off the rocks. That was my biggest concern. And so far, so good. And I may leave the black backdrop on there for a while to reduce any or uh, more light on there. You can see how easy this wipes off, look at that. So I'm pumped about that. 
This boost got a lighter green. This was a darker color at one point. So there's definitely a, a reduction in photosynthesis. The plants are getting the lighter colors. Look at that, it just flips right off. It's an osmocot leftover from the first time. Not a fan of the osmocot as my substrate. And you can click all the links around here, check out this entire tank from setup to the first setup to when I set it up a couple Christmases ago. And there is a casualty. The Cobamba did not like it this much. The Cobamba took a beating during this. Oh well. Fish are happy. A note on the decor, it's been raining a lot here and my city spikes the chlorine when it rains because of all the runoff. So you want to double, triple down your decor when it rains. I've had problems with that in the past. We're going to unplug the FX floor and replug it in. Screws on up here and get rid of that. It stinks. Good. Yep. Perfect. Good. back in, wet fingers. Bubbling like crazy. That's a good thing. We want that flowing. We want that hitting everything all around. That's a lot of oxygen. That's a lot coming out of there. So that's why it burps itself. That's a pretty smart pump. It runs for 15 minutes, stops, and then burps itself. You can see it got air in the system, and that's what it all let out, and then it'll kick back on in a second here. That's a lot of bubbles coming out of there. So it kicked off, kicks back on. Ruined her hair though, that stinks. Get your goo gone and clean that up. Oh, yeah. That's about to kick back on. So yesterday I went to go uh, check out the no maintenance tank and they closed early because it's spring break around here and schools aren't in sessions, they don't have a lot of kids there. So I'm gonna go for our morning run with no siphon. We're gonna check out the no maintenance tank, how it's looking one day later. Now let's see how the three day blackout looks. I did a water change yesterday, about 50%. Roll in here and check it out. Good morning, friends. Uh-oh. So she's making a noise over here. That's not good. We can probably fix that. See the bubbles coming out? We can make do with that. Lights off. Let's kick the lights on here. Lights on. And lights are on. I'm only going to run the lights a few hours. And we're going to unplug the FX4 down here. That's going to bubble like crazy in a second here. There you go. So it needed to be burped. But uh, overall, So yeah, the front needs wiped off or whatever, but uh, I do like, you'll notice the algae is off of this rock really good. It's uh, not as prevalent down here. It's still around, but it's not like as aggressive as it was. This is all coming off here. This needs cleaned off, but it's dead. You can see how it's dead. So not too bad, I'm pretty, uh, Overall, I think the three-day blackout really worked pretty well, so I'm pumped. Uh, do me a favor, folks, hit the notifications button and the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm doing daily videos this year, so you can uh, check that stuff out. Everybody have a fabulous freaking day. Talk to you manana, and tank on. Later. Here's the boys.